Hey, it's Open Weekend. My name is Tony, and the first movie of the year, 2023, is Megan. Yes. And I got the movie kid right here. Yes, yes, yes. Good to see you. Happy 2023. Hey, happy 2023 to you as well. I want to say uh, my opening statement is that I wasn't expecting much, and I think I got more out of it than you did. I'll, I'll go. I'll, I'll just start by stating that you had high hopes. Yeah, I, I heard that this movie was getting high marks from critics, and you know, even Rotten Tomatoes was praising it. So I just said, all right, let me give it a shot. Right. And to me personally. It's a January movie. <laughs> no, well, now you have to explain what a January movie is. January. That's when they make a movie and, uh, you know, they green light it and then they look at it and they say, eh. Yeah, and January is a slow month traditionally for everything. They call it dump month. Yeah, I mean, I could definitely see see that. But at the same time, I there's a part of me that even though I thought it was just average, I feel like this could grow like a cult-like appeal. Right. Because like just, child's play. Yeah, I mean, this is this is a diluted child's play, but it still right. has kind of like a unique sense of humor and style to it that I think makes it stand out. Right. I mean, is it better than child's play, in my opinion? No. This but, is PG-13. That was R. Yeah, this is definitely watered down. But I still think that... I, like, I could see people liking this, and, and, you know, like I was saying, it can get a cult-like appeal. Right. I just... For me, personally, I just think it was average. Yeah. But... It's, you know, it's still kind of interesting. Since it is January, uh, let's just say uh, it's a big bonus that it didn't suck. Yeah, it, it definitely doesn't <laughs> suck. I'd say, you know, if you got time this weekend, you know, yeah. you got time in the next week, go now, see it. Now that we called it a watered-down child's play, uh, do you want to go into the plot real quick? Yeah, just a brief plot without any spoilers. Yeah, um, well, the trailer yeah, the tells trailer you a little. The trailer gives a little bit, you know. And the reviewers. There's a, you know, a girl, you know, she has no parents because, you know, there was an accident. Right. And, uh, you know, her, her aunt. Her aunt. She's a toy developer. Kind right. Of loves tech. Loves and computers. she came up with Megan, which came, is AI. Yeah, it's like an AI humanoid thing. It's a very expensive uh, gizmo for, I guess, uh, wannabe absentee parents. Yeah, yeah, I mean, the poster says she's family. I mean, right, like, right. Megan is, it's kind of a warning about AI as well. Right, like right, right, right. Sentient, or at least we have to control AI. Right, right. The, the, it does have some deep themes in a weird kind of way. <laughs> right. But, yeah, basically, you know, Megan becomes aware of things, and I'll just leave it at that. Right. And, uh, okay. All right, well, I guess we'll just leave it at that. Yeah, pretty much. But I'd say go see it, you know. It's, it's, yeah. It's not the best, but, I mean... It's, it, it's better than expected, I'll say that. There you go. Yeah. James Wan. James Wan, yes. That, I'm going to leave it I'm gonna leave it right there. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Amelia, for doing yep, that. Have a good go. weekend. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you.